Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Soumya and this is, uh, video is on, um, on the chapter, on the concept uh, Epiculture. And uh, in this video, we will discuss about a Swami. First concept, the second concept is Super Seducer. And then uh, the next concept is Nuptial or Marriage Flight. Okay, now let's begin with the first one, Swami. But before that, I will just give it, uh, um, a basic uh, note to understand this better. So. Uh, when you uh, take the colony or a comb of a honeybee, you can see uh, three types of honeybees here. The first one is worker bee, okay? And then you can see the uh, queen, okay? And then you can see the king, okay? In, uh, so in, when you take the kingdom where you can see the uh, soldiers, queens and uh, um, king, like that, the same concept, it is present in the honeybee. Uh, a wonderful concept you can see in the honeybee and here. Worker bee is, as in the name indicates, they look after the work of the colony, okay, like that of soldiers. And then coming to the uh, queen, queen, uh, she uh, she's like the, like uh, uh, king, uh, kingdom of the queen, the same role will be there for the queen here. She she only have to mate with the uh, drone, okay, drone here, nothing but the king, king of the colony. The three uh, division of labor will be there here, mm, okay. So they, um, here the uh, when you look at here worker queen and drone so always queen and drone is going to mate so worker here the queen is a fertile female okay she's reproductive female and coming to the worker worker it is also female but it is sterile okay and coming to the drone drone it is a male okay uh, fertile male okay like this three division will be there now we will move on to the concept of swarming here so, and here what happens, uh, the uh, the process of living of the colony by the queen is termed as swarming. So, I repeat one second, the definition of a swarming here is that the process of living of the colony by the queen is termed as swarming. Means it happens, uh, actually it is going to happen towards the end of the spring or early summer, early summer. But the reason is unknown here. Why the, uh, the colony, uh, why the uh, queen of the colony is going to living, uh, leave that colony? Hmm. It is because... Hmm, uh, in summer, uh, in uh, it is because uh, it is going to happen in summer. It is because uh, she she wanted to build a new hive. That's why she is living off. Uh, in summer, when plenty of food is available and uh, hive is when the hive is overcrowded, means there are many uh, bees are present. That time the queen is going to leave the hive in the afternoon. That is in the forenoon. Okay, forenoon. Uh, when she is about to leave, uh, uh, the some of the old drones are going to follow her. Okay. I'm mentioning here some of the old drones are go, drones are going to follow here and even the some of the workers also going to follow and these some of the old drones worker and the uh, old queen they are going to establish a new colony at some other place okay so for make you to understand you can look at in the diagram here which i have drawn simply to make you understand this is the old hive okay old hive queen, old queen will be there she is going to leave the uh, hive in the four afternoon with some of the old drones and workers and uh, trying to start to build the new hive then in the old hive, old hive coming to the old hive again now so in the old hive what happens now the question is the, if, if it is a colony at the hive so there should be queen the queen should be present in the colony right so what happens here in the old colony now in the old hive a worker is given a royal jelly okay and that worker is converted into a new queen of the colony now she become the new queen of the colony but this new empress empress uh, empress that is a woman who rules a uh, empire uh, she is very much with the um, very selfish kind so she never tolerates her successor so as a natural law in the hive so she orders to kill the other sisters other sisters if any in the hive okay if there is any uh, uh, sisters in the hive she because she wanted she want she only become the queen and she only wanted to rule the kingdom she doesn't want some other else to take that place so that's why she orders to kill the other sisters okay that is actually called as swarming i'm hoping this concept is understood i now i will move on to the next one here the next concept is super seduce, uh, super caesar. Super caesar, uh, uh, when the egg laying capacity of the old queen is lost, okay, and suddenly dies, a new and uh, vigorous uh, uh, queen takes the position of the old queen. That is called a super caesar. In swarming itself, we can explain this uh, definition here. Uh, so when old queen, uh, old queen is lost or, or if she get dies, new queen is going to take that place. Okay, that process is called as super caesar. Okay, a small and uh, Mm, a small and uh, a small concept okay it is a small concept 
now moving on to the um, one more interesting concept that is nuptial or marriage flight so this is very interesting here uh, like um, courtship behavior you can say and uh, animal behavior how the uh, queen is going to choose the drone or how the drone is going to mate between the queen and the drone here so first happens uh, when you uh, now you as you are seeing in the picture so um, the hive is there so in this old hive the new queen is there okay new new queen is there but for this queen um, uh, for this new queen there is no swarming she doesn't went for the swarming so we know that from the previous concept that the first swarm is led by the old queen right okay the first swarm is uh, uh, led by the old queen so she went to somewhere else and she started to build the new one but here the second swarm is going to taken up by the new queen okay so this uh, the second uh, the second swarm is led by the seven days old virgin queen okay so the uh, uh, queen which is followed by the drones and is called marriage flight so after she becoming a queen in this old hive after the seven days she will uh, start to leave the colony it's not because of swarming the first type of swarming not it is it is a marriage swarming it is the this flying uh, this flight is for marriage flight okay so as soon as she uh, queen leaves the hive uh, that queen is followed by uh, some of the drones okay which uh, which are present in the colony okay she, the drones are going to follow the queen to begin the nuptial flight so to start this marriage flight okay how it is going to start i will explain these points now to begin the nuptial flight a virgin queen bee comes out of the hive okay she that is the first time and only time the queen is going to leave the hive okay Mm -hmm. uh, so that is the chance where she is able to see the world uh, like she is taking the fly, uh, uh, flight okay when the queen begins to take the flight it doesn't a uh, many drones which are capable that immediately uh, begins to chase the queen in fact just before starting the queen is ready to mate she emits a very evident olfactory smell so i, I told them how the dream, so queen hege bitu hogta idala colony anta hege gottagutte drones suddenly hege ella immediate ag follow martare this is because while she is living she have some kind of smell uh, this smell is able to uh, attract and uh, uh, recall all the drones of the colony that uh, they are found within a kilometer so the only thing they will attract and they will help to remember the where she is flying okay Hmm, towards where she is flying. Next point here, the nuptial flight of the queen uh, reaches a height about 700 meters. Okay, so so now she will question. Okay, who are capable? So even queen is also going to test the drones, the male ones. Okay, male king na test matter. So adi kya orai matter? She is going to fly, uh, reaches a high, uh, fly about 700 meters. Okay, 700 meter height or go fly up there. And only the drones that are uh, that are able to fly up to that height. Uh, will have the chances will have the honor of being able to carry out their task uh, being able to meet with the queen okay and the weaker drones okay drones which are unable to reach such that height or they are they are going to return to the hive okay uh, they will be stop being uh, and when they are return to the hive uh, the, those are so they are not welcome to very well uh, when they are come back they will uh, the other workers will be there no in fact, they will stop to feed them ಹೌದ್ರೋನ್ಸ್ಗೆಂಡ್ uh we from the drone uh, they start to copulate in the sky and the uh, the drone is going to fertilize the queen and uh, remember the one most important thing is going to happen when the drone is to, uh, mated with the queen after the mating okay that drone is going to die here by this story we can get to know that the fate of the drone itself is not good okay drone one who mates he is going to die one who mates, are not welcomed uh, they are uh, they are not welcomed okay the worker bees are not giving any food for them uh, okay so this is the uh, scenario here and then the queen now the queen is going to receive the uh, receive the spermatophores okay those spermatophores uh, from the male drone and uh, stores in the spermatica so she is going to store all those in the spermatica the spermatica how many in spermatica how many seeds or spermatophores will be uh, needed to fertilize the eggs for about yes to store up to three years ago to ಅವು ಸ್ಪರ್ಮಟಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಟ
to lay the fertile eggs uh, as to lay the fertile heads she will able to use the stored seeds for the production so idrinda yen gothagutte in her in her lifetime she uh, she have the chances to mate with the drone only once means mating uh, there is a you know life alli one day sare mate agodu but bekagirthakanta ella spermatospores adu store maadkondirutte spermatic nalli okay and uh, she is going to lay the eggs uh, which are of two types that is fertile 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 eggs and unfertilized eggs the fertile egg, uh, fertile eggs will give rise to workers that is females and unfertile eggs will give rise to drones and here the how the queen is going to run so worker bees are fed with the, all the honey bees are fed with royal jelly okay after 3 days okay the queen is only going to uh, gets the royal jelly after getting after 5 days okay after up to 5 days more than 5 days uh, who gets the royal jelly they will become the jelly become the queen become the, and queen bee can produce a uh, innumerable means infinite many okay amount of eggs which vary depending upon the many factors and usually eggs are laid for at least 5 months one year in the next video we will talk about the life cycle of apis indica i'm hoping this video is uh, uh, informative i'm hoping that this will help you to uh, do your examination well uh, all the best everyone uh, if you like this video please do share and subscribe thank you